This is what I get to expect when I roll up. That's what I get to expect when I roll up. The door open. I've been sitting here for like five minutes going through my phone, maybe 10. And their job is to just stand there in the doorway. Can't make it up. And what color is this shirt? I can't make it up. I can't make it up. I'm out. This is all day at every light. Some kind of message. That's your safe. That's your safe. That's your safe. That's your safe. Hey, the demon cut my cut my phone off, cut the video off. So I'm gonna try it again. Good. Oh, you teaching him how to jump? Huh? You teaching him how to jump? Yeah, he's a special need. Huh? He's a special need. Special. Oh, special need. Special yeah. Need. Yeah, I saw y'all in the basketball court when yeah, I was in the basketball anything, court. Anything to give him Yeah, anything. wherever I'm at. I see it. I got it. I got it. Special needs, right? Roger, right? You said Roger? Yeah. Yeah, the demon cut it off the first time. I did it, I did it again. I'm out. He del the demon deleted it the first time. So I had to reshoot it. They followed me in every room I'm in. This is the special needs. Like the van that I get every day, this is the special needs. This is the special needs uh, gesture. They know I like to jump my rope. They know I plan on jumping my rope today. This is again, psychic mind reading. I'm out. Resting jacket. These poor boys, black boys, have to drive, have to push the carts in front of me when I get here and then do it again when I leave. It's the black boy slave gesture. They split up a little bit when I pull my camera out. But it's the black boy slave gesture. I purposely didn't get them when I pulled up. I mean, when I was headed to the uh, entrance. But they were right there, and you could tell they were given orders to come towards me with the green fluorescent jackets. And one has the orange, uh, also the orange, uh, jail orange uh, footwear on. But this is what they have to do. When I get here, and then when I leave, they have to cross my path. That's what they have to do and play with the phone kind of gesture. Yeah, they back up, to, they back down to 224, my uh, former address. The crazy thing is I um, ran out of strawberries last night, ate my last bit of strawberries. So 
So I actually do need strawberry. Again, psychic mind reading. I'll try to share that with y'all. But I don't know if I want to buy them since they know I need them. It's the 50th FedEx. Everything is timing. It's your 50th FedEx at least. I did not take pictures purposely of the FedExes, the UPS, and the Amazon trucks. Purposely. Just getting to the gym here. That's my first. Everything's timing, I tell you. Everything's timing, gives you black. And you see them doing the working on the car gesture. There's your R, she's got your R. There's your white van. There's your all black. Can't make the lime green on too. I can't make this stuff up, man. They try to keep me busy. They don't try, they keep me busy. Anyway, um. I can get this white car, but um, but I didn't get any of the white cars as I approach my um, the usual trash can every day. Um, it was a slew of white cars and vans. There's your horn license plate. There's your horn license plate. Um. It was a slew of uh, white vehicles. There's your PGW, as usual. It's usually right there. And it's right there today. Um, the, uh, the demon, or whatever it is, them, whoever, took control of my phone, as usual. And it didn't allow me to get those uh, that video. So, um... So I'm telling you, I'm showing you the lights from the cars and everything. There's your pride, man. There's your pride. I'm out, man. About to walk towards the entrance of the building. They're all out there, all the cultists. It's nice now, so. Uh, you know, I can expect this, but I'm not going to be taking any pictures. They're all in there black and pink. It's about four or five of them. I'm not taking any pictures. I'm just telling you. And I'm going to walk right through them. This is how it is. I'm out. That's your wreck gesture. They got to wait for me and then pull in front of me. That's your wreck gesture. With the white car. There's your move license plate. Did you move license plate, MUV? Anyway, time I turn my phone off, I cut it back on. I cut it right back on. Here's your jar. Here's your jar. I forget what it means, but it's a jar. You also drink out of a jar, so I don't know. Here's your white car. I can't make this stuff up, man. Can't make it up. See the blinking headlights. I can't make it up. Can't make it up. How well do you know Philip? This is how they do it. One light bulb. Is your white car pulling in? 
She got a jail or license plate. Everything is timing. It's your dog and your walk. Everything is timing. There it is, right on time, as I stand up to leave my apartment. Just pulled up one second ago, right on time. They're not going to get out because um, they want me to use my uh, video as long as I. Can't cancel Friday 2023. Try to see my broccoli is 224 also. I can't make this stuff up. Man. Can't make it or usually my potatoes that I get or the bread that I get. Now they know I'm on this broccoli kick. Well, I've always been on broccoli, but I get it from here now. And I get the strawberries from here. They're both 224, my former address. I can't make this stuff up. So I told y'all the other day they went back up to 245, so I might buy some. It's back down to my address, 224. gesture or what but um it's crazy man it's crazy but it's another way to let me know I usually don't leave out that way I leave out that way um there's another way of letting me know that I was about that I was gonna leave out that way this morning or early today and I did We're playing this sneezing game right now, and this demon has got me sneezing. That's how it works. Uh, I used to do it to my mom. And um, of course, I didn't know it was voodoo. I just thought, you know, she sneezes a lot certain times of the day. Um, This comes out of nowhere. Again, y'all think things are involuntary, and it is, but you think things cause it. It's no cause for voodoo. It's just a um, a way for them or it to show you that um, I'm present. And this will pass, subside. And then the many different other ways that it shows you its presence. Throughout the day. It's throughout the day. Um, again, it used to happen to my mom. And uh, 
when I would sneeze, she would always have some kind of response or reaction to it. I I used to just hate sneezing around her because she was going to have something, and not just a response, like a dynamic response. So she kind of knew. There's different revelations for me every day about this thing, and 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 even and in the past, just reminiscent. She always had a strong response to my steezes. And I think she knew that through my sneezes, this demonic thing was letting her know its presence was around. Because I tell you all the time how I, um, well, just recently, I stopped, uh, react, tried to, I'm trying to stop reacting so much, especially to the younger, uh, to, to younger folks, because um, they probably don't understand what's going on. I would get angry, like even the other day. It's not that I was angry; it's just that I called the Wawa uh, gas guy out, young guy out, uh, before I talked to him before, telling him uh, that he had the name Anthony, like my. Um, uh, former cousin I used to have, or have, has. And they were, um, <clears throat> when I was thinking about him the other, that around that time, his name was on everything. And I showed y'all, and well, it's, I'm going to show y'all in the duplicates. I, I, it's like, I have like three or four lookalikes just like him. And so, um, I told him, I said, you do, I said, uh, uh, is your name Anthony? I don't even think he had a, a name tag on that day. And he jumped. I got almost out of his skin, and he said, yeah. And I said, I'm just checking because right now I'm dealing with the name Anthony, and um, many of the clerks that I come across have that name. And... Uh, there's several lookalikes as well. And I'm going off on a tangent again, but um, it's essential to, uh, it's correlated to this story. Um, anyways, I saw him a while ago, um, just recently. I hadn't seen him in a while. And uh, he didn't have his name tag on. And I said, uh, you're the, you remember you're the one that's got my cousin's name? And uh, me and my cousin both are 58. So we're talking about 58 years of knowing one another. And they brought him to my gas station, to do, uh, the area where I was at, specifically, without his name tag and with an eagle's hat on. We're just thinking about this, by the way. A, 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 a black and, and dark green eagle's hat on with the bright orange and black Wawa uniform. Totally... Uh, Looks crazy. But that's why they brought him over to my station, um, to where I was at. <clears throat> and uh, after not seeing him for a while. And um, I told him, I said, uh, yeah, you have my cousin's name. And uh, I said, I, but you don't have your name tag on. That's what they do. I told you all that before. They don't. They, they either turn the t name tag around or, or don't have it on at all. That's the... Uh, the uh, signification of uh, no familiarity and friendship or whatever. So, um, <clears throat> so I said, I couldn't, and for the life of me, I couldn't think of, uh, 58 years, both of us. For the life of me, I told you my mother was having kids with her daughters and sons and uh, nieces, obviously. Because he was me, he and I was 58. His mother is my mother's niece. Give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> um, but I couldn't, for the life of me, couldn't think of his name. And I talk about this. I don't know if I put this video up yet. But um, <clears throat> uh, they used to, it's a humiliation sacrifice. I mean, it's humiliation. I'm a humiliation sacrifice, but it's humiliation. And I'm standing there and I can't. And I said, well, what's your name? 
and he wouldn't tell me. He was scared to tell me. He said, "You said it was your cousin. You, 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 you tell me." I couldn't think of it, and that's how this demonic thing works. And that's why I tell you all about all kind of diseases, dementia, um, <clears throat> Alzheimer's, all of that kind of stuff. It's all voodoo. And most people get it, these, these, these particular types of voodoo. When they get older and they might get closer to their deathbed, they want to cleanse their soul. They want to spill what they know. They want to be forgiven for their sin. So their memory bank is wiped away through voodoo before you get to that stage. <clears throat> and so, and so, yeah, even when I was on, st you know, on stage, the stage plays and stuff like that, and I knew my lines backwards, forwards, from the middle to the end, from the mi middle to the beginning. But uh, <laughs> this is my thing. Y'all see it every day. But, um, when I would get on stage, I would say, why am I struggling getting this? It's humiliation sacrifice. Most of the audience, if not all the audience, was gangster stalkers. Of this satanic family that they're in. This satanic, not my ex-family. None of them were there. They're scared to be there. But this family of uh, Satanism. So they understood the struggle. <clears throat> now, a lot of parts I would, a, you know, knock out the park, but every now and then they would throw stuff at me, and I would say, why am I struggling? This stuff, like saying my ABCs back at the crib, voodoo. And so I struggled for about 15 minutes trying to remember his name. My cousin of 58 years. It's voodoo. They can wipe your memory bank out at any time if they want. Strokes, heart attacks, cancer, all it all is all voodoo. <clears throat> I'm gonna get into that one time, but uh, at, at one point, but uh this is already nine minutes. Just uh making this point. But I wanted you to see the sneezing. You do all kind of involuntary things, this demonic whatever it is at any time of the day, whenever it wants, to confirm something. <clears throat> Can't think of what I was thinking about at that time, but to confirm something. <clears throat> the first time I thought of it, it did the porn beep outside my window. That like it does all every all day and every day. But um and I can get into that, how, how I used to think, you know, they must have cameras and they know when they hit their horn. I, I can get into a whole lot of crazy. Everything is demonic and timed very, very well. I'm out. This is your gray and black. Can't make it up. This is your jury. He cut right in on me. Cut right in on me. That's your jury. your jury. They have to cut in on you, whether you hit them or not. They have to cut in on you so you can get their license plate. So you can get their license plate. It's your jury. It's one of their cultic songs. You hear that? Cast the spell. It's one of their cast. It's one of their cultic songs. So um. So um. This ghost or demon in my apartment and around me uh, usually likes to break my my uh, electronics and appliances and stuff like that. So my battery went out on my, um, I think it's the battery, hopefully it's the battery, on my laptop. 
and I went online and um, one of the batteries, the cheap, one of the cheap, the lower, lesser priced ones, had the heart next to it. So that's a cultic thing. And so when I get appliances, I look to see where the cultic uh, signification is at. And I um, just ordered this and I uh, got it. And there's your R for rescue. So this is the type of games that we play. But again, these are things, I, you know, I try to like to pull y'all coat. These are things that you just see and don't even pay it any mind. It means nothing unless you're a, a, a cult victim, a victim of this sick satanic cult. There's your R for rescue. I show you all the R all the time. There it is. Jesus is Lord.